Citizen has been making Pro Master watches for 35 years. A lot, a lot of Pro Master watches. And this, this right here is the first mechanical Pro Master GMT. Citizen has been around for a long time and for most of the past few decades, Citizen has been focused on quartz watches, solar powered quartz watches. Citizen calls these watches eco drive watches and they're great. They're easy, affordable, they're accurate. They just work and they work great. Normies love them and I can't help but respect eco drive watches. But lately, Citizen has been coming out with a lot more mechanical watches, which tells me that Citizen is focusing more and more on collectors. And I say collectors because a normal healthy human would not look at a solar powered quartz watch and say, well, this is nice, but I want a watch that's more expensive, more delicate and less accurate. Only a collector would think that way. And I think the integrated bracelet Suyosa watches are a very strong example that Citizen is going after collectors or at least enthusiasts. And enthusiasm is the virus that so often causes collectorism. So here we are with this ProMaster Air Automatic GMT. And here's what it is. It's a steel watch that's 44.5 millimeters wide, 12.7 millimeters thick, and 49.5 millimeters long. It has 22 millimeter lugs. It's water resistant to 200 meters and weighs 164 grams on the bracelet. It uses the Citizen 9054 flyer style GMT movement that has about 50 hours of power reserve, a little more on that in a minute. The watch lists for $1,125, and I gotta tell you that even though this is a new watch, you can find these for a lot less from authorized dealers. The lowest price I've seen that still includes a full factory warranty was about $650. So I don't know if we should be evaluating this by the list price or the market price. Just keep that in mind because I think the $1,100 price tag might be a little off-putting. And the same might go for the size, but there's not much I can do about that, or actually, as your doctor, I'm prescribing you two milkshakes and a large pizza every day. And do your best to minimize exercise. Within a year, this 44.5 millimeter case will look like your grandmother's dress watch on the new you, thanks to Body by Evan. Or maybe you don't need that. Maybe you like this size. At the moment, my wrist size is a mere seven inches around. And it's okay for me. It works. It feels pretty good, a little heavy. I do think that this would be more appealing to me if it were around 40 millimeters. I'd really like to see this design at 40 millimeters, but I think the people at Citizen are going for a specific bold sporty look with this watch. This feels to me like this watch might be best appreciated by people who like large, I don't know, Breitling pilot watches, for example. The size, the polished elements on the bracelet, even the slide rule bezel, yeah, that's what the crown at 8 o'clock is for, to operate the internal slide rule bezel. It took me years to muster the energy to finally look up how to use a slide rule bezel. My laziness knows no bounds, almost no bounds. But when I finally made the excruciating effort of googling how to use such a bezel, I actually ended up kind of finding it useful. Converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, or from kilometers to miles, or from American football to un-American football, all this without even needing to use the smart device, which was probably already in your hand anyway. Point is, slide rule bezels are kind of fun and kind of useful. And so are GMT watches. This one works as a traveler or flyer GMT watch. That means that the local minute hand and the GMT hand, the red hand, are locked together and that the main hour hand jumps and sets the date. This is an ideal GMT watch for someone who is traveling or flying between time zones a lot. Without needing to stop the watch, and by that I mean without needing to stop the seconds hand, you can change the time by jumping the hour hand forward or backward. And this is possible because of the Citizen 9054 movement. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and like I said, it has about 50 hours of power reserve, and sure, it's an in-house movement. People love to talk about in-house movements. But here's a reason why they don't really matter, because a lot of the in-house movements in the world, maybe even most of them, are in affordable watches from watchmakers like Citizen and Seiko. They're fine movements, but my point is that in-house does not equal fancy and in-house does not equal better. One unusual thing about this design is that the bezel looks like it turns. This looks like a 24-hour rotating bezel, but it's not. This is a fixed bezel. It doesn't turn. I'm okay with this functionally, but it looks like this is a turning bezel because there's knurling on the side of it, which implies it could be turned, and maybe it could be turned if I tried hard enough. Maybe the lesson here is 
Every bezel is a rotating bezel if you have the physical and emotional strength for it. The bracelet has an interesting design with some polished sections on the center links, but it's also kind of chunky, which brings me back to that thinking that this was designed for people who like big luxury sports watches. The bracelet is pretty simple, no on-the-fly adjustment system, but it does have a few micro-adjustment spots if you've got something like a paperclip or a spring bar tool, and strong loom on this watch. That's something that really never ceases to amaze me about watches from Citizen and Seiko and other relatively affordable watchmakers. So often, the loom is just better than on most luxury watches. On the case back is an etching of a fighter pilot helmet and an oxygen mask, so we don't forget that this is a pilot's watch, intended strictly for fighter pilots, only the best in Microsoft Flight Simulator and whatever is on sale on Steam that week. Honestly, EcoDrive watches probably make better pilot watches than something like this mechanical watch, but accuracy and affordability aren't usually why we like watches. That's certainly, that's not what got me into watches. It was that they are tiny machines on your wrist that use gears and springs and don't contain a single circuit or a transistor or battery. It still amazes me. And people like me are just the kind of sucker that it seems like Citizen is paying closer attention to. The same way that someone with a gun pays attention to fish in a barrel. And I, for one, welcome the attention.